Salutations and well met fellow Dwaro, Sabotage the Fool here. Today I'm going to be looking at a world record I managed to get in Super House of Dead Ninjas, Boss Rush Ninja Mode. I managed to get this top spot off star after much struggling and striving to get the best method. And I'm going to show you how I did that now, using the hefty axes, the remote control bombs and the scythe. And I'll show you why during. Okay, so I come in. Spite X, I should be able to get him in two jumps, just throwing the axes at him because they do do damage each time. So just spamming these is like 90% of my strategies throughout this and you'll see that. With Tormund, I actually take a uh, strategic hit here, just so I stay invincible and jump through him using the downward attack for three damage each. And that pretty much minces him really quickly. I always normally have troubles with the in-between sections because I can't jump very well. With Rage, I start off with a downward hit, hit with a bomb, another downward hit, and another final bomb to finish him off. This can be a bit dodgy sometimes because of depending on which uh, way he goes round, that might miss the bomb sometimes. With a Doom, start off with a bomb, and then spam the axes once he's down, and that'll get you a single cycle kill on him. You have to be a bit lucky with the ball sometimes here, and uh, sometimes you have to get a bit lucky with that jump. Horror can make or break these runs due to the fact his teleportations are pretty much random. So if he starts off two teleportations up to the top, uh, I normally just have to restart at this point. Uh, I blew out the hole here and make my way down, it seems to be the fastest way. Then come in. Disgust is one of the easier ones, it's a super jump over his head and then just spam him afterwards. I think I finish him with a bomb here because I ran out of axes. Normally I would just fly into him with the scythe and hurt myself and ruin my run there. Another bit of luck there with those electric balls on the thing. Here you can only hit him with physical attacks when he's flashing. You'd be able to get him in two cycles by hitting him with a spinning attack twice. And I, I totally meant to do those two invincibility things by taking damage obviously. Now, this is why I use this specific loadout. The axe does two, the bomb does three, and he takes his vulnerable part away once you do three damage. So if you hit him with the two and then the three, you do the maximum of five each time, making it a four cycle because he's got 20 HP. That's a lot of numbers. But you can see, axe, bomb. Four times round with that, and he is a goner. It's the fastest way to do this. A lot of the time, if I have spare bombs, I will use them to take out any of the enemies that come out of the stomach just to try and defend myself a bit, though I still managed to get myself knocked all the way down to 1 HP in this, I got very lucky. I mean, as I said, I am very clumsy in this game, I can't do the jumping or the running, which is why I don't have the normal time run speed as Star still does. Uh, the boss rush is the height of my abilities. So just super jump over his hands each time, hit with the axe, hit with the bomb, and that is that. 2 minutes, 39, 8 milliseconds. The current world record, though I'm sure if this goes out, people will readjust this and take it from me. And I'll leave you this reaction. Yes! I did it! Yes! Yes! And talking about Star a lot, I do actually just want to thank him for this, because it was because of him... I actually pushed and strived in this game to try and get a better time. I mean, he had tweeted at me and stuff as well, which was really nice. And this just made me want to go at it even harder. I didn't do it in any way to disrespect him. I did it out of respect for him. I also really want to thank Megadev, who are amazing on Twitter, really friendly, and this amazing game that they've put out. And I want to thank anyone who watches. So thank you all. Sabotage the Fool, signing out.